Hello, what's up everybody? How is it going? Welcome to another video of tutorial series Learning Code Ignite from Scratch. I'm your host Anwar Ali and I'm here today with the new video in the new topic. And today we'll be learning how to properly handle such components that is used in all of the pages like header, footer, sidebar, etc. So we can see that in each and every pages uh, we have like uh, uh, we did our news listing page which is our home page and we can see that in our home page we have uh, some news listed and we have header and footer in the bottom even when we change our pages we can see header and footer uh, on the top and bottom when we go inside the news we go to news detail page and even there we see header and footer right but if you notice while working on any uh, page like view home page or news detail page we have done something like we have loaded the header and loaded the footer even in home page we have loaded the header and loaded the footer this means we have to write this piece of code and this piece of code in each and every view file wherever we want to load our header and footer but there is another way in code igniter where we can handle such cases like uh, whenever we want to load some component in each and every page we can do it uh, even more efficiently and more properly and with this comes the concept of core uh, controller or core model or core components like we, if you see inside application folder we have a folder called core and this is by default empty with just an index.html file here we can create our own controller or own model which we can use in uh, uh, other controllers or other models we can extend our controller uh, currently if you see our home controller extends CI controller now suppose if you want to create a core controller called let's say my controller my underscore controller dot PHP so this is my core controller I will <coughs> create a class called my underscore controller now this shall extend ci underscore controller and here I want to create a function called render and this is actually a function that shall be responsible to load any view so so that in while loading the view from any other control like home controller we will not be using this load view rather we want to use the function render and just like we are passing the view file and the array of data to the view file we will be passing these two parameters in the uh, render function okay so our first parameter would be the view file and my second parameter would be the data that I want to send to the view file so I'll just receive to these two arguments as view and data now here I want to load the view this load view and my view file would be dollar view and the data I want to send will be data that I'm receiving from here so this is exactly the same right so instead of loading this view from here now I want to use the view uh, I want to use this function and load the view now in order to use the functions of some other classes we have to extend the class uh, we have to extend this class to the class where I want to use the function that is known as inheritance right so instead of loading CI controller now what I can do is I can extend my controller this way now by doing this I can use uh, even this load view here Though I'm not extending CI controller because my controller is already extending CI underscore controller. 
so I can use all the functions of CI controller and at the same time I can use all the functions of my controller why because my controller is extending CI controller and home is extending my controller so now home can use all the functions of my controller as well as CI controller so instead of saying this load view now I will say this render okay so by saying this render I'm calling the function of my controller render and I'm passing two arguments home and data so our view shall be home and data shall be this data right so this shall load a view called home uh, and pass the data over there so by doing this firstly uh, I'm using a component a separate component that can be reused everywhere firstly secondly now instead of loading the header and footer for example this is loading the view called home now instead of loading the header and footer from view what I can do is I will just remove this from here and I will just place this load view header and this load view footer within the controller itself this load view header and this load view footer so I'm loading three views from my controller window function this and this shall be static because this needs to be loaded in each and every view so I'm just statically loading header and footer and in between I'm loading the view that I want to load which is dynamically being sent from the controller right so whenever I'm calling render from here I'm loading uh, I'm sending home to the render function so I'm loading header home and footer similarly in detail page I'm loading the view called news detail so instead of saying this load view I'll just call the function render and pass <coughs> the view file and the data to the render function so this time this will use and this will load header news detail and footer now in such case I don't need to uh, load the header and footer in news detail page either because our core controller has already loaded the header and footer so by creating the core controller I'm avoiding the uses and the, and the repeated uh, repeating uses of let's say header and footer in, in each and every view file rather I'm loading the header and footer from the render function which is being used by the uh, by various controller so by creating a core controller we can efficiently manage the reusable component this way and similarly the core controller can also be used to create some generic functions which which is generally used in each and every controller so this is the way how we create our core controller in order to manage our reusable con uh, components now let's see if everything is working fine so let's go to home page and see we are getting our header we are getting our footer even while paginating we are getting our header we are getting our footer even in detail page we are getting our header we are getting our footer and even the body so you can see uh, that in my view files I don't have header and footer on top and bottom even in my news detail file I don't have header and bottom um, and footer in the bottom and I'm just handling my header and footer through my controller which is my core controller which I placed inside the core folder so a few points to be noted if I want to extend any core uh, core controller it should be placed inside core folder of applications and and it should be named with in uppercase and while extending it I should also extend it using my uppercase after doing that I can use any function of my controller inside home controller and at the same time I can use any functions uh, any function that is, that is within CI controller so this is a good practice of uh,